welcome back to another video guys in this video i'm going to go through the dpf regen using the all new x2 uh, d5s obviously we've got this engine management light on it's a mercedes c-class um as we can see as well the it says clean the fuel filter which is fine don't, don't worry about that much what we're going to do is um pair it up to the vehicle as the standard procedure as an auto identification so that's going to pick the vin up itself and we're going to do a dpf region sometimes it will allow us to do it sometimes it won't depending on the suit content and then we'll reset it we'll see what the whole process is first now this tool is capable of doing a lot of things um, within the special functions whether it's the headlights coding in injectors uh, resetting maintenance and whatnot um, there's a lot of things it, it, it can do so we'll just let it pair up first so auto detection yes it is indeed so it's just confirming the bits and bobs we'll do an auto scan and uh, let it go through the modules it has so it's done that so as we can see dpf particular um I won't worry about this, I'm not interested in this, but this is the thing that we are going to work on, P2454. I'm going to reset it also. What we'll need to do, as standard, we have to have the ignition on. I will clear it anyway. Um, so he has cleared it, which is fine. So if we come back out of this, yes. Um, if we come out of this completely, that's how you do the full scan. Now we're going to special functions. Now here is where it's, these are the functions that it's capable of doing so as we can see it's got a, a variety of different things on here uh, what we need is the DPF so here it is and then we're gonna just select the vehicle again where is Mercedes I must have I might have gone past it we don't know I stopped Sorry, my bad bends yeah funny I mean some of them <laughs> come, come under like MB as in the uh, uh, things for it or sometimes like it does bends or the bends transport to me is like the the vans in other words um but we've got that vehicle on there which is good so we'll go into the end process so you can these are the things you can do. I'm just going to go uh, while driving. So it does it while driving. Uh, so you'll have to go and do it on a motorway, in other words. So it's got to be done on a motorway run. So you'll have to, what you'll have to do is do this. Yes. A BM as well on most of the models. You have to do it while driving. You won't do it as a standstill. VAC cars will, however. Uh, VAC cars, no issue. They'll do it. Uh, F3 start. Okay, so it's kind of ready, in other words, um, to, to be done. So what you'll have to do is go for a good drive, come back, and then just reset it. Um, so yeah, we'll go for a thorough drive. Once we're back, we'll um, get cracking. We're back, guys. Um, drive's been good. Full power's there. We will just do a, a DPF, so reset. So we'll do these two just to say it's had a new DPF because we've done a third drive, the suit content's all low, um, everything's spot on in that sense. So that's done. Come back out of this, we'll do this as well. Now some cars, like I said, VAG cars, Audi CS Code VW, it will um You'll be able to do the regen as standstill, which I don't recommend because it does overheat the engine anyway, but that's everything. Um, that's all done. Everything's sound. Everything's good. Um, but as I said, this tool is capable of doing quite a lot of variety of things. And I've used it on various different vehicles. It's pretty smooth and quick as well. As you can see, it's pretty damn good. <laughs> 